Welcome to Afkas Tenerife. I'm your host, Tim Dowd. This podcast is about chilling in Tenerife in the afternoons. Bars, restaurants, favourite beaches, shopping or anything you want. You'll get tips, tricks and a bit of banter. So join us every week for Afkas Tenerife Afternoons. Today we're going to talk about how you can help me and become part of the show. If you've visited Tenerife in the past, I'd like to hear about it, either in person or using Skype. These are the types of questions I'll be asking. Where did you stay when you visited for the first time? Well, let me answer that. I stayed at the Sheraton La Caleta Resort and Spa. It was right at the end of the maritime walkway in Costa Adeje, just before the beach where the paragliders land. Why did you pick the place? Well, our daughter went off to our university and Christina and I were alone. I was working a lot and travelling for my job. As a risk manager for IT projects for a large multinational, I was only able to take time off in March in 2012 and we didn't want to be 12 or 18 hours away, so the Canary Islands was the perfect choice for a spring break. My family couldn't afford holidays abroad when I was a kid in the 60s, but some of my friends at school boasted about going to Tenerife, so I thought, well, Tenerife it is. As for the hotel, I always used to say, stay in the best place you can afford, and they had some deals on at the time. Plus, they were offering great disabled facilities for Christina. If you came back again, did or would you choose the same place? Well, we came back again and again, and stayed even in the same room. The holiday started immediately the second time, so we came for two weeks instead of one. The staff remembered us and started feeling like home. Where else did you frequently visit outside of the place where you stayed? Well, there's a little sports bar just up the road from the hotel that did great food, ranging from steaks and fresh fish to burgers and pizzas, called Seven Cafe. It's still here to this day. I'll put a link in the description. On your last visit, where was your favourite place to chill out in the afternoons? Well, we would go out the bottom gate of the hotel and walk along the sea towards the little fishing village of La Caleta. Playa de la Enramada wasn't passable with a wheelchair then, and we had to take a detour up to the main road to get to the village. That was a long way. We'd stop in one of the little fish restaurants and watch the locals diving into the sea from the little square on the maritime walkway, right next to the restaurant La Caleta, which is the main restaurant there in town. There are plenty of others there, but we couldn't get into a lot of them because they weren't really wheelchair friendly. Then we go back to the hotel for a drink in the pool bar before we got ready for dinner. Did you leave the coastal resorts and visit anywhere inland or up in the mountain? Well, because of Christina's mobility issues, we didn't visit the Teddy National Park, but we did get invited to a traditional Adeki chicken at the family-run restaurant called Oasis. It's right in the middle of the old town Adeki, next to the town hall. We were surprised when there was no menu. You just have to say how many for portions of how many portions of chicken you want. I'll start that again. We were surprised when there was no menu. You just have to say how many portions of chicken you want. How many for salad? How many for bread? And then add the wrinkled potatoes or chips. Or both, as we do. For drinks they got a well stocked bar and house wine which comes in full or half bottle. And the funny thing is, they even have their own label on the wine. The desserts were in little pots in the fridge by the door and were either served hot or cold, depending on what you chose and what was available at the time. We also took a trip to the capital, Santa Cruz, but I'll save that for another time. Now I'll explain how you can submit your answers to help others who may want to visit for the first time or even give regular visitors new tips and tricks. Contact me on our Facebook page. It's called Living with MS in Tenerife and you can get to it by saying at LWMST. Or you can leave me a comment on my WordPress blog if you're not into Facebook, which is timdowd.wordpress.com. 
Either way, you can request a date for taking part on a Skype interview. I'll interview you like I just did to myself, and at the end there'll be time for you to tell us, and the world, anything you want. I'm looking forward to meeting you all, and happy holidays in the island of Eternal Spring, Tenerife. By the way, it was 23 degrees C in the shade at midday today. This is Tim Dowd for Living With MS in Tenerife, signing off. Bye. (laughs) 